Hey guys, what's up? This is Jim at Carolina Sky Astronomy down here in southeastern North Carolina. Today I'm going to show you how I stack and process video footage of Jupiter. And what we're looking at here is a screenshot from my laptop of my sharp cap settings using the ASI 120MC-S camera. And this is the view that I get on my laptop screen when I'm out in the field shooting video footage of Jupiter. Okay, so here's what the actual video footage looks like of Jupiter. And we're going to take this video footage and stack it into one single image. I'm using a program called Auto Stacker for stacking my video frames. It's a free software. Uh, I'll leave a link below so you can download it. Uh, as you can see, I've already got Jupiter video loaded up in it. And over here you can see I have 2,245 frames and I'm going to select 75% of frames to stack. Uh, it's planet so you want to make sure you select planet and make sure you select the RGB align and save in folders. Then click analyze and it takes it a few minutes to analyze. I'll pause the video and, and come back when it's done. Okay, so Auto Stacker is done with analyzing. So now you want to come over here and click on this Place AP Grid. And we also have a moon here, so you want to select this moon. And then click Stack. This will take several minutes to uh, stack. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back with Registex. Okay, now that Auto Stacker is done stacking, you want to open up Registack 6 and hit, click on Select and bring your stacked image into Registex. The first thing you want to do is you want to sharpen this image. So I like to use the first and six layers for sharpening. Well, Take that slider all the way up. I'm going to click on this sharpen five times. And then you want to click on this denoise five times. And then I want to take this number six slider and slide it all the way up. And that gives you a pretty sharp image. So now you want to go to your histogram over here. I'm going to stretch this histogram. And stretch it to right there. Click stretch. And then we're going to stretch it back to lighten it up a little bit more. And now you can see these are not balanced, so we need to click RGB balance. Now we got a more balanced histogram. Looks like the red needs to come out a little bit more. So we're going to go to the red channel and stretch that a little bit more. Uh, Okay, that looks good. I'm going to leave it at that. And that's all you need to do. Click do all. And then save image. And you're done. 